an automatically delete bar wrap. Uh, when, the, when the storm starts, this turns on automatically. Uh, these rakes uh, remove the, the floatable material, rags, debris, leaves, things like that. Uh, uh, rake them up and dump them on the backside onto that conveyor that drops them in the screening garage. Uh, this channel is 20 feet deep, and then there's, I think, four feet of concrete below that. And you said you hit clay here? So uh, clay is down, once you get down 15 to 20 feet, you're into clay. And it was uh, a nightmare of disruption for the contractor particularly. You can't get the water out. As soon as you put a piece of equipment on it, it just turns them off. So they really had a battle. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a nightmare. Once they got that, the concrete board, they could work on it. It took three months to get that. Uh, this standby in case one pump is down. Uh, flows through that channel into the chlorine contact chamber over here where we do most of the treatment. How many pumps do you need to run that? Uh, yeah. The city runs it with two. Really. The, the, the cool thing about this is it has a higher dividing walls in here because we don't know how much water is going to come in here and cleaning this is a major pain in the neck for the city um, so in small storms they might only fill one third or two thirds of this so we put these dividing walls in here to minimize how much cleaning they've got to do during small storms um, when the storm is open when the storm uh, fills up this it'll go around and out the back there there's a weir where it goes over and we had some something called sodium bisulfite to take the chlorine out of the water so we're not sending any chlorinated water out to the river. So it's a two-part disinfection. We had a lot of chlorine here and then we take it out with the, uh, with the sodium bisulfite before it goes out to the river. What's cool about this facility, you can see that gate down there below. Yeah. If you walk down there, you can see that. We'll fire it off in a little while. That's a flushing gate, so we use the water from the storm to fill up a small box in the backside. Um, what, what they get is a lot of cell debris in here. You've, got, you've still got a combined system upstream, so you get a lot of sand and grit in here and other, and other um, finer debris so from the streets and from the sewer, too. You get settled sewage in here. Are we uh, going to make a practice, though, of having our guys go out and do the streets after the winter months so that we won't have all this sand coming through? That's the biggest thing, is when uh, they sand the road. I can't speak to that one. I mean, you've got you to talk to others in the city. I mean, even if you do, you're still going to get you know, even in January, you're going to get you're going to get those January melts, and, and it's going to come down here. Yeah, yeah. 
it, and it, it'll end up in these tanks. Wastewater when it comes in is the first line of defense. After a storm, you'll see 